My name is Barney Norris. Uh, I'm currently in rehearsals for my new play Eventide, which is running at the Arcola Theatre from the 23rd of September to the 17th of October. Throughout this process, I'm keeping a rehearsal diary, but I'm doing it as a video! We're in week two of rehearsals. Um, we're having a fantastic time. Although, imagine it's your 50th birthday, and you love life, and you're proud of everything you've done with it, but you give anything to have it again. That's what rehearsals are like this week, week two of three. That's what it's like. It's been progressing really well this week. Um, we've been going through the process now of detailing, really. What you're doing is establishing a basic framework for, for a show, um, and then you work out why on earth all the lines get said. That's the huge challenge, I suppose, in every play. Um, this is quite a specific challenge to this play because it's a pub show. It's a show where all but one of the scenes, at the beginning, there isn't a kind of intention to the meeting between the people. There isn't, like, we have to get together and talk about the death of the dock. Um, it's just a couple of people in a pub who meet and then have a chat and it evolves. Um, so understanding the meanderings of a conversation which doesn't have an obvious theatrically superimposed super objective is very difficult. Um, why do people say that then? Why do they get diverted by that then? That's been the question of the week really and at the same time, all the time that the actors are doing that, of course they're having to get their lines down, they're having to work out the physical presence of the play, the muscle memory of that show, where they are, what they're doing, what they're lifting, how much it weighs. There's an actor just off camera making faces. I... <laughs> I'm not moved by it, I'm strong. I'm glad you mentioned the bench I'm sitting on. It's beautiful, isn't it? We uh, sourced it from um, uh, the internet. This pub bench, picnic bench, people uh, like to refer to it, is sat on here, sat on here. It's walked over, it's turned briefly into a pirate ship during the course of the show. Um, it's a very exciting piece of furniture. We've uh, dressed it with uh, highly advertisable lagers. And yeah, just over the course of the last week, slowly, what I showed you uh, last week, which was a relatively unconvincing imitation of a set built out of tables, has started to turn into real, actual things. We've got logs. Logs! We've got uh, an ancient pewter tankard. Hang on, I really want to show you this. This pewter tankard was given to me on the occasion of my christening. I have owned this all my life, more or less. Uh, it's like Antics Road Trip, it's great. So it says my name on it, it's got my date of birth on it. See through it, exciting. I really like putting actual stuff of mine into the plays that we make. I heard this fantastic story uh, from a, a guy who was in Jess Butterworth's play, Jerusalem, uh, who told me that Mark Rylands made everyone in the cast put something that they really cared about and valued into a box before each performance, and he put that box under the stage. The idea was that this charged the space, it became a kind of sacred space with a hidden set of meanings, which was about personal memory as well as the performance they were doing. I don't know if this story is totally made up or if I've completely misremembered it. Um, I just think it's really brilliant. And so I try and put things of my own into the plays. For me, that does something quite vulnerable and quite emotional to what we're presenting on stage. In Visitors, my last play, I put my great grandmother's library on stage. So it's a collection of about 50 books, Dickens, Trollope, that kind of thing, um, in a bookshelf that she uh, received by subscription which was really amazing to know that if a madman with an axe ran on, it would really cost me a lot of emotional damage. And that's what this is all about as well. Um, putting myself at emotional risk. This week, we've got through the whole of the play. Now we're revisiting it and realise all the bits we were doing wrong. They weren't doing any bit wrong. They're wonderful, and you should book now to avoid disappointment. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> You shouldn't look at all. Good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't book now to avoid disappointment. <laughs> <laughs>